visitor come to the farm the night before last. Yep, a visitor. And that visitor really wasn't welcome here. Because uh, we didn't know that the visitor was here. And I don't know who it was or... Well, I know what they wanted to do. They wanted to cause damage to some of my equipment. So what they did, and I'm going to show you the damage that they did, and I'm really upset about it because it's just total bullshit what they did. But here is my L8000. Um, as you can see, it's not looking so good. Here's a busted out front fender, busted the light off, and did that. Took my door, totally fucked up the door, excuse the language. But it, it bent the door, uh, destroyed it, blew out the window. My nice new lettering there, boy that was nice of them, you know. Uh, and I bent that little step there, which is kind of minor. Um, the, rear, the rear tire here, this one here actually smacked into the hay wagon. And so did the front. The front hubs here, or the bolts, studs, had smacked into the hay wagon right there. It hit the new rim that I had just put on, me and Tim had just put on the, on the hay wagon, and they caused a lot of damage. Bent my bumper down in. I'm going to have to get the skid steer onto that and bend it back out. Bent this bumper, this bumper here. I don't know what this is. What is this? Oh, that's just a support bracket back there. Bent the shit out of that. So, yeah, now you're wondering, what did they do? Take it for a joyride? Well, no, they didn't take it for a joyride. Uh, what they did was they just came onto the farm, and it was parked down by my hay pile where I normally park stuff. But it was pointed downhill, and all they had to do was push in on the, on the brake to take the brakes off, the button to take the brakes off. And that's what they did. And, of course, they jumped off of it, and down the hill it went. And it was loaded. I had 30 bales of hay on the truck and the trailer, too, you know. So when it smacked into the hay wagon, it actually steered the truck to the left a little bit. And it ended up running into a pile of hay down below, which didn't cause too much damage. I'm, I'm fortunate enough that it didn't damage the cab at all. You know, I just bent the crap out of that door. I mean, look at it. I got a great big wide gap there now. Uh, I guess it did something to the visor there too, but it knocked hay off of the other wag wagon and sent it flying. So yeah, so that's one of the reasons why when I have people say, hey, I want to come visit you, that I'm a little reluctant and I always say, hey, uh, just give me a heads up, I'll load my shotgun first. Well, now I think the shotgun's just going to be loaded all the time because I can't have people come here if I'm gonna have stuff like this happen. You know, just really stupid. Just really stupid. And who wants to vandalize my stuff? You know, I work really hard for this stuff and I provide a, a little bit of entertainment to some people that, you know, like to like and enjoy my videos. Now there are some people out there that don't like and enjoy my videos and they make nasty comments and I can handle that stuff. Um, but when you do, when you vandalize my stuff, and I mean vandalize, this is, this is just really wrong to come onto my property, trespass, and then go into the truck and take the brakes off and for some stupid reason just to watch it go over the hill. That makes no sense to me. Now I'm sure there's going to be some people out there saying, oh well you probably forgot to put the brake on. Well no, because if I forgot to put the brake on, it would have took off immediately when I got out of the truck. And I wasn't the one that was driving the truck when it was parked there. Um, but that particular person that was driving the truck, he had to get back into the truck because he had forgotten to to uh, turn the lights off, and it would have taken off immediately when he got out. Because I know where it was parked. I actually took the truck after I got it away from the bales of hay and back, you know, back in business. You know, I drove it around and I pulled it up to where it was parked, and I just took my foot off the brake and. Uh, of course, immediately it started to roll because the hill is quite significant. But anyways, with that being said, um, I, I think I'm just no more visitors. Uh, I don't want people coming to see me. That, that part of my life is over. It's a real shame. So if you have had ambitions to come visit me and you want to, uh, up until this point, I don't think I'm going to have visitors. You know, I'm just not going to have visitors because you just cost me thousands of dollars. It's going to cost me a hood, a fender, and a door. 
Oh yeah, and then I'm going to have to have the truck painted, which isn't the worst thing in the world to have the truck painted, but I didn't really have the money to paint it. So, I mean, if you want to <laughs> you want to donate money to me to have my truck painted, go to onelonelyfarmer.com and buy some shirts and t-shirts and hats, you know, and things like that. And, you know, that'll give me enough money that I can get the truck painted, but I'm telling you, the bullshit like this really one asshole will spoil it for everyone. So, I can't say if you like this video, please comment, rate, and subscribe, but please comment, rate, and subscribe, and uh, I'm sorry, but no more visitors. Thank you.